So guys, um, today we'll be talking about the pericardial sinuses, and I'm um, following this video. We'll be talking about the applied anatomy of the pericardial sinuses. Okay. So the pericardial sinus. What do you understand by the pericardial sinuses? Okay. So I've uh, discussed the anatomy of the pericardial sinuses. Okay. So these are the. This is a diagram showing the pericardial sinuses. I see the transverse sinus and the oblique sinus. Okay. Together they are called the pericardial sinuses. Okay, so sinuses of the pericardium are spaces that are seen due to the reflection of the visceral layer of the serous pericardium. Okay, that's the epicardium on great vessels. Okay, reflections of the visceral layer of the serous pericardium on great vessels. So the epicardium at the roots of great vessels is arranged in form of two tubes. Okay, the epicardium at the root of the great vessel is arranged in form of two tubes, okay? That's the arterial tube and the venous tube. The epicardium at the root of the great vessels is arranged in form of two tubes, that's the arterial tube and the venous tube. Okay, so this is the transverse sinus. Um, on the heart, where you hold the heart and you put your hand like this, where your hand is facing is actually um the transverse sinus okay where your hand is entering is a transverse sinus so the transverse sinus there are two pericardial sinuses namely the transverse sinus and the oblique sinus the transverse sinus is a passage i told you guys a passage it's a passage between the arteria and the venous tubes that's the great vessels okay now it is bonded anteriorly by the ascending iota the pulmonary trunk and posteriorly by the superior vena cava and inferiorly by the left atrium, okay? So the transverse sinus opens on both sides into the general pericardial cavity, okay? Um, the transverse sinus opens on both sides into the general pericardial sinus, okay? This is the transverse pericardial sinus, okay? And here we have the oblique pericardial sinus, okay? So now let's talk about this image this is the oblique pericardial sinus okay so let's let's uh admit the image here you appreciate it so let's go to the oblique sinus so the oblique sinus this results from the arrangement of the epicardium reflection within the venous tube it is bonded anteriorly by the left atrium and posteriorly by the parietal pericardium so below on the left it opens into the rest of the pericardial cavity it is bounded on each side by the reflection of the pericardium. Okay, guys. So this is our note on um, the pericardial sinuses. We're going to see that there are two. We have the transverse pericardial sinus. We have the uh, oblique sinuses, okay? So here at the notes, we are basically talking about the locations of these um, sinuses, transverse sinus and the oblique sinus, where you could find them. And there are boundaries, okay? So these guys, I think this is a done deal for this. Okay, see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.